what is going on YouTube? It is OG and I'm finally back from my little YouTube vacation. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be covering Nanny, the new brawler. Um, that's going to be the focal point of the video, but after, if you guys want to stick around, I'm just going to like kind of go on, not like a rant, but just kind of like fill you guys in on what's been happening uh, just with myself and Brawl Stars um and the channel etc um but we'll get we'll cover nanny briefly first again i've never played with her so i don't want to like just i don't have the dev build um but i have talked to a lot of people that do have the dev build so i kind of got their input on it uh, a few people they all kind of said similar things so i feel like it's kind of somewhat accurate and you know i've watched like a few of the youtuber videos as well and obviously the gameplay so you guys are gonna get to see all that as well but first off i want to give a huge shout out to ashlyn s my uh, beautiful girlfriend for helping me edit this video that is she's actually very talented so she's gonna be coaching me to edit this video assuming it comes out if it comes out it's thanks to Ashlyn S so make sure to thank her in the comments anyways guys let's get into the video all right guys so nanny is an epic brawler hold on i have my phone up here um so piper pam frank bb and b so she's fitting in right with them uh so epic's pretty they're not easy to get but you'll get it after a while it's not like a legendary or anything for you free to play players so the attack which i really love it's definitely my favorite part about the brawler and i think this brawler is gonna be a really high skill cap like it has the potential to do a ton of damage but in the clips you guys will watch uh coming up you can see that like the auto aim it misses close range sometimes so that's just because of how the attack works so it shoots three light orbs which converge at max range now if you're not aiming it like close to mid range sometimes it will miss right in your face it can hit every time with auto aim but uh long range and like even like mid range it will miss if you auto aim sometimes so something about the attack that stuck out to me is i was talking to one of the youtubers and they said it's really good for shooting around walls so it's good chip damage but you do got to be careful because the reload speed is really bad on the attack uh, you can kind of see it in the video it takes a ton of time to reload but it is really high dps if you can land all three of those shots so obviously the attack's the main mechanic of any brawler and i really like this one uh so big fan of what supercell did with this attack next up we got the super so nanny takes control of peep and can steer him remotely into enemies and explodes on contact so i think that's kind of what everyone's just going off about they think it's gonna be super broken and i mean it looks decent i'm not sure how exactly because for brawl stars it's pretty fast paced right so to just stand in a bush for like five seconds and just afk pretty much and like aim ahead that is very hard to difficult or very difficult to steer i've heard i'm not sure how good it'll be or like what mode it'll be good in maybe in like gem grab or bounty or something like that but nanny's not really high hp so could get too tapped by a lot of the bounty brawlers so i asked like um what mode and like where nanny would fit in and like nobody could tell me nobody like it's just like a mystery at this point because it's such a unique brawler um so i'm really looking forward to just like kind of playing around with it and seeing what works with nanny i just hope it's not like really like it doesn't fit anywhere and then they have to like over buff it and then it's just like really broken uh because they do do that sometimes <laughs> next up we got the gadget which i absolutely love uh it's similar to 8-bit's gadget if you know just like the teleporting so the gadget for nanny detonates peep and teleports herself to the last location so anywhere on the map that your peep is you can just press the gadget and instantly get teleported there now it doesn't cause a uh, explosion which would damage the enemies so you do have to sacrifice the damage but it could be cool for like getting out of places or like even getting to places for flanks and stuff like that so i really like the gadget and the gameplay it shows it looks really clean and i think you can make some cool plays with it next up we got the star powers so the first star power is autofocus and deals up to 2500 extra damage based on distance traveled um so again this is gonna be for like those long range maps or just i'm not <sighs> the gat or this sorry the super looks really weird to use, so I don't want to like speak on it too much because I feel like it's going to be really, really hard to hit because it detonates on an explosion. So if it hits a wall, uh, it does break walls, by the way. But if it hits anything, it's just going to blow up and it could be really easy to juke. Now, you can't also shoot the super like it doesn't have it's not targetable. So it's going to explode no matter what. You can juke it, though. And I think with some brawlers, it's going to be super easy to juke like Max, BB, any of the really fast brawlers. Um, but pretty much with this star power... The longer you go the more damage it's gonna do so i think just judging off of like how the first two star power sound this one's the better one so for the second star power it's called tampered steel and you take 80 percent less damage when using the super um 
so i mean 80 percent less damage is a lot and maybe you could use it for just some like big brain plays like if you're gonna die you just like pop it and you just shield until they're out of like ammo and then you like detonate your super on them and just like kind of turn it on them but i don't know i think i like the first star power better i'm not really a huge fan of any of the shields in the game like they are good but it's just not really my play style so again i haven't used any of these i've seen like the same gameplay you guys have seen i've spoken to a few people that have used it and i think my preference would definitely be the first one but i'm not a huge fan of either of these star powers honestly um but one thing so that's all like it's stats and mechanics and everything i'm just going to talk on the brawler like a little bit so one thing that made me really excited was one of the youtubers i talked to compared it to a weak version of spike which sounds so good to me spike without curveball please i really hope it's something similar to that and just the hp it's spike the dps like high dps it's kind of like spike spike has a faster reload speed and obviously the mechanics are different but they're both like cute little like yeah, cute little things like a cactus and a robot it's not very comparable but um i think it will be kind of like my play style and i think you can do some cool stuff like the attack, like I said, is the main concept or the main part of every brawler pretty much, right? So um, I really do like what they did with this attack and it's definitely going to take a lot of mastering and it'll be easy to juke, I think, but it'll be super rewarding if you do hit it. So I think Nanny is going to be probably, I don't want to say the hardest, but definitely one of the higher skill cap brawlers in the game, which makes me so happy just because every brawler since launch, I feel like has been kind of easy, uh, not like... I guess BB BB is pretty high skill cap, but for the most part, um, you know, we got like Gene, just a joke. We got M's, a joke. Gale, so just brawlers that you like can't miss with and stuff. So I'm really happy to see the dev team, uh, just kind of going out on a limb and just doing something like completely different. So really excited to just mess around with Nanny when she comes out. All right, guys, so that is going to conclude the little talk about Nanny. Uh, you can enjoy the gameplay. I mean, every YouTuber is using this gameplay right now. So I'm just going to go on and talk about uh, the past little bit, why I haven't been uploading, um, just what's been going on in the pro scene, um, and just kind of give you an update on me and everything. Uh, I've First off, I've missed you guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of... I never edited my videos, so I was a very privileged YouTuber. Toma just spoiled me. So it's something I got to work on, but I think practically, like with everything else I got going on, I think it almost makes sense to look for another editor or someone that can like at least do editing part time and like maybe a thumbnail maker. It depends. Um, so going to look into that a little bit, but for now I will try editing my videos. Honestly, I have no idea how this is going to go. Ashlyn is coaching me right now. So if this video does come out, um, you know, it's all thanks to her again. Shout out Ashlyn S. But um, besides that, the YouTube, I've been streaming on DLive pretty consistently. So if you guys do not uh, miss the content, you can definitely come check me out there. I'm live like every other day, I'd say. Sometimes every day, it depends on my hours. But um, yeah, so if you guys want to keep up with me, my socials, DLive, etc. Now for what's been going on with the pro scene, because there's been a lot of drama um, and a lot of changes and... Fortunately, I can't talk about the drama, uh, like legal reasons and stuff, but pretty much I'm not on a team with Crying uh, Second and Jack anymore. It's me, Bobby, and I don't know if I can say our third, but uh, there's been <laughs> some development. So we do have a third and we're talking to a really, well, we're talking to a few orgs, but one seems really promising and um, I think it'd be really good for Brawl Stars just if they got into the game. And I think it's going to happen. I don't want to jinx it, but um, I'm really excited to talking about that anonymous organization. So um, we did manage to keep our points, luckily, after a lot, <laughs> a lot <laughs> of struggle. But um, we did end up with our points and there was a lot of contra controversy in the last qualifiers just because our teammates didn't let us play. Um, so our lead is a little less than it was but uh that's okay we're just happy that we have our points at this point and we can play so um we're gonna be getting ready for the finals which is not this upcoming weekend but the i think it's on the 7th of june i want to say the 7th so definitely playing with a chip on my shoulder um my whole team is and we're just really gonna look to come out on the 7th and hopefully win it 
So going to be doing a lot of scrims and practicing. Maybe I'll upload some scrims and practice. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. There's so much I want to tell you guys, but like, I just, I'm not allowed to legally. So I'm happy I got out of a bad situation though. And just, it feels so good. Like it's been going on for a while now and it, it's just such a relief to be out of that situation. So that's pretty much all I can say on the subject. And <laughs> yeah, I guess that's going to be it for today. So hopefully I'll see you guys. Oh, I... Tomorrow seems like a bit of a stretch. I want to be honest with you guys. Maybe like I can start doing like three to four uploads a week or something like that just to get back in the rhythm. But I am going to be looking for like a full time, not full time editor. Maybe full time editor. Someone to edit my videos though, probably. I think it's just more practical and um, maybe a thumbnail maker. My thumbnails, they could use some work, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, a lot of it's I'm still figuring out. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the channel and let you know that I did miss you a lot. So sorry that the nanny content is a day late. Um, when I find out about it, it's like 4 a.m. for me. And then I just, I had a busy day today. So um, yeah. Thank you guys for those of you who stuck around uh, for this long and listening to me just rant a little bit. And for everyone that just like watched the video at all, anyone that supports me, really appreciate you guys. Love you all. Um, and yeah, definitely leave a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, check me out on DLive, my socials, my Discord. And yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope, I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all later. Peace.